to prepare for cleaning. Reverse your steps to remove the chuck. And this can sit in the sink to defrost and the, you can wash the stems down the sink or you can put it into a garbage so that the, the matrix comes off. Just be sure to clean it really well when you're done to get anything out of the, the rings because that will prevent things from adhering very well in the future. Once that's off, move the carrier back as far as it will go. You can hold the button down and then after a few seconds it will just automatically pull it backwards. Let's get the blade out so that we can be careful and we'll not cut ourselves so you release this orange bar. Move our blade protector out of the way. And it's still fairly sharp. As you're doing your cutting, if you go through a sample, it doesn't hurt to, to release it and then move it over a few centimeters so that you can get an, an, a sharper edge again. Um, the nice thing about these blades is that it comes with a... The nice thing about these blades is that it comes with a handy dandy disposal. So you just slide it in there to these blades and then they don't come back out. Next we can start to disassemble the, um, the interior. So all of this stuff can come out like this. So the power cord that goes to the cryogene is sort of in the way, so it takes some angling. Next comes this, and usually there'll be some cuttings in there. This will only go back in a certain way. Dump that out. You release this bar on this side, and this will allow the actual blade holder to move backwards. Um, at this point, you want to disconnect the vacuum. Pull it all the way up and out. And then finally, taking our brush, try to brush any extra slices of matrix that might be floating around in here and get them to go in here. And you can see inside all of our cuttings have ended up down there. And these can just be dumped. Clean. Still a few stragglers. Make sure your blade holder is nice and clean. Replace that. So I don't know if you can see this, but there's notches for where it fits in and this has to go into there perfectly. It's all machined to be fairly tight. So once that's in, tighten it down. We put our smaller tray back. There's a little notch so that it only goes in one way. If you try to go in like this, it gets stuck. It has to go in like this. And then last but not least, we put our tray back in. And again, this has to be finagled because there's a power cord in the way. And then there's a vacuum hose in the way. And we hook the vacuum to the carrier. We can take the slides out. So slides can be uh, defrosted and frozen multiple times, it doesn't really hurt them. The tapes, if you leave them in the freezer and you refreeze them and defrost them a few times, it loses its integrity and they're not really reusable. So everything else comes out. We put our roller back where we found it, take our sample out, and everything should be ready for the next user or for hibernation.